How often do you lay on the floor? Or bed. Or couch. And overthink nearly everything going on in life. Last week, I was doing exactly that. But then my friend Roberto told me something interesting. Apparently, if you go to these exact coordinates in the country of Lebanon, above the clouds, in the mountains, and you crack open rocks, you can find real fish fossilized from 100 million years ago. Turns out that's really freaking long ago. Keep in mind, Every day I'm shuffling. Party Rock Anthem was released 10 years ago. The internet was created 38 years ago. Writing was created 5,500 years ago. Homo sapiens came into existence 200,000 years ago. Dinosaurs went extinct 65 million years ago. Basically, these fish fossils are 3.5 million Party Rock Anthems of time older than all of that. <sighs> I had so many questions. Why on this mountain? Can you actually still find fossils Is there? Is it even worth it? Well, the only way to find out. One, two, three. Rosary! I'm on my way home. I wanna dance. I wanna sing. I'm making. But first, we arrive to a restaurant to eat a special Lebanese dish called knefe. What knefe is? Knefe is sugar. Sugar dripping off. Cheers. Delicious. Update. I have way too much sugar in my body right now. Oh my god. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, it seems we are arrived. <laughs> My English is French. <laughs> oh. You want to go in? No. Yalla, we go in. <laughs> All right, so we finally made it to the mountains of Lebanon, and I think we're gonna meet up with one of Rob's friends that owns a property that might have fish fossils in it. Well, they did have fish fossils in it, a lot of them. Luckily, Roberto knows two legends, a father and a daughter, who are kind of experts when it comes to this stuff, and they gave us a breakdown. The best conservation for a fish fossils in the world. And somehow during that, I wandered off on the street alone and met another woman that collects these. All right, right now we just arrived to a fish fossil like souvenir museum type of thing. There's just fish fossils everywhere. Who then showed me some film in French. You uh, sleep? Wait, 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 yeah, Over yes, there? Yes. Yeah. Wow. And basically, amongst all of that, I learned a lot. Wow, it's insane. So I'll summarize it now in 30 seconds. 100 million years ago, there were crazy historic fish roaming the sea. Oh, also, all of the continents were combined and called the Pangaea. So Lebanon was completely underwater. Next, some microscopic organisms came through like plankton, sucked up the oxygen for all the fish, killing them all at once in a specific region to sink down to the bottom of the ocean. And by rare chance, some of the fish got perfectly covered up by rocks for millions of years. The continent split up and that same spot rose up from the ocean into the mountains where modern day Lebanon currently is. Oh, and they didn't find basic goldfish. They found literal artwork. It's like, what? This is so crazy. Okay, look what we have in the other side. <gasps> oh my <laughs> gosh, what? Okay. And they're both conserved perfectly. Like, what is the coincidence? I don't know, like, this is insane. Wow, that's so big. Let's it's see, crazy. what? That's wow. insane. Weird arms and tentacles. There's so many details. Update on the sugar though. Bad idea. I'm really thirsty. My brain is like totally fogged up. Don't eat sugar. After learning all of this, it still made no sense to me how this was possible. I cannot even think about 100 million years. It doesn't process. My brain is like. Phew. So all that was left was to go try to find fossils with our own eyes and our own hands. This is our new whip for the day. <laughs> the owners of this land are letting us use this car. Oh yeah, let's go. Are you ready to find fish fossils? Yeah. Let's go. Everyone's ready? Ready. Let's go. <laughs> hey, 
Oh, yeah, on this crazy car. The car ride was just going phenomenally well. Huh? I don't know where we're going, but we're going. Um, I don't know. We're definitely gonna be an adventure. <laughs> going, we're just going backwards. <laughs> we just went up a bump and almost died. This car is definitely not brand new. There's a giant road obstruction, but Joseph said we're going anyways. Change of plans again because it was physically impossible to drive across. So now we're walking. <laughs> Where are we going? Uh, I don't know. All right, the search begins. Oh my God, this view's insane. This is life! Ready? Yeah. Okay. It is competition time. We're gonna see who can find the biggest fish fossil today. Who thinks gonna win? <laughs> Everybody thinks. Love be you, loving man. Oh, 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 <laughs> we actually found it. I actually found it. What the? F All right, we just finished searching. It was an absolutely epic day. It's like you're a kid again. And right now we're about to do the competition. I have a feeling one person is gonna lose and another person is gonna win epically more. So let's, let's see. see who has the biggest fish of the day. Let's go. Let's start with Adam. Adam, show me your fish. All right, guys. I don't know if you're ready for this, but first one is always the best one. <laughs> so, of course, as I stood there holding a 100 million year old rock in my hands, I couldn't help but think about stuff. This random fish has a longer legacy than you ever will. In 150 years, your name is probably going to be completely irrelevant. Oh, okay, okay, fine. Let's say you become a legend. No, no, no. I mean like George Washington status. I mean George, great guy, great president, and you actually probably still go to a happy hour in a city named after him, but do you really care about the guy? And does it even matter to George now if we care about him? Yet, you're still going to finish watching this exact video and continue to spend the rest of your life working towards being some big success to finally give yourself the permission to be happy. Oh, and to impress someone else caught up in the same old race. What I'm trying to say is, if you take life too seriously, you might miss out on living it. We're all just going to end up in some random rock like this anyways. Maybe it's just about making the most of the short time we have now while being a good guy along the way. I can tell you from experience, the effect you have on others is the most valuable currency there is. But... I don't know. I'm just some dude who lost a rock competition, compensating by trying to figure out the meaning of life while laying on the floor. 